Good evening. This is Luke Thomas, QuakePrediction.com here at the Earthquake Forecast Center. And it is 9.34 in the evening on Sunday, February 21st, 2021. Let's go over to the uh, current map of uh, earthquakes during the last 24 hours. And the largest quake so far today just happened a few minutes ago down near the Loyalty Islands. It's a 5.4 earthquake. And in California, we had a couple uh, significant quakes. We had a 3.3 down here uh, near Big Bear Lake and a 3.8 here southeast of San Francisco and northwest of Coalinga. And uh, let's just check uh, how we did here during the last 24 hours. We had a 3.5 and a 3.4 off uh, the coast of Oregon, off northwest of uh, Eureka, California, and southwest of Portland, Oregon. Portland was at 90 and Eureka is at 100, so that worked out okay. Big Bear City or Big Bear Lake was at 75% risk, and there's a 3.3 near there. And San Francisco, the uh, 3.8 that occurred there was in 35% risk. So that wasn't all that great of a forecast on that one. Uh, but the other three were, were pretty much right on. All right, we're gonna go over to the forecast map for uh, California. Eureka remains very high risk. Uh, even after those quakes off, offshore there, the risk remains at 100%. And I, I think we're gonna get uh, between a five and a 6.0 earthquake in Eureka during the next 24 hours. Also, Mammoth Lakes is very high at 100%. So something should happen in either, maybe both, Eureka in Northwest California or in Mammoth Lakes, which is in East Central California. And again, Portland, Oregon is uh, uh, the 95% risk there as well and Ridgecrest at 90%. The world forecast, uh, very high risk in uh, northern Italy still, Bologna to Milano, over to uh, Zagreb, Croatia. Very high risk in that area. And uh, also in Mexico City and Cyprus. Well, Mexico City down to Guatemala. So it looks like uh, a 6.0 is possible in southern Mexico and or, and or western Guatemala during the next 24 hours. And Cyprus, which is south of Turkey, is also very high, high risk at 95%. Uh, Puerto Rico is moderately high risk at 72%. El Salvador at 79 So I think we're going to get about a 6.0 in southern Mexico and in uh, western Guatemala during the next 24 hours. Northern Sumatra is pretty high at 87%. And something significant, I believe, is going to happen in northern uh, Italy between... Uh, Central Italy, Italy to Northern Italy near Bologna over to Zagreb, Croatia. So watch for that during the next 24 hours. And the uh, Japan forecast, we're looking for a uh, significant earthquake, at least a 5.0 in the Osaka, Kyoto, Japan, which is Southwest of Tokyo. Uh, 5.0 earthquake is possible in that area. And the risk extends over to Totori and Hiroshima as well. We have been getting uh, some small quakes just southwest in Wakayama, uh, southwest of Osaka, Japan. And uh, something a little bit bigger about between a 4.5 and 5.5 is likely during the next 24 hours in that Kyoto, Osaka area. Once again, in uh, the Los Angeles area, looking for a... Uh, I would think between a 5.5 and a 6.5 in Northwest California near Eureka and or Mammoth Lakes in East Central California. Both of those are very high risk right now. So if you're either in uh, near Mammoth Lakes or in Northwest California, be prepared for a significant earthquake during the next 24 hours. I think that'll hit maybe even in uh, tomorrow morning. All right. Thank you so much again for stopping by here at uh, the Earthquake, Earthquake Forecast Center and quickprediction.com. Um, if you haven't already, please uh, subscribe uh, and uh, hit the notification button. 
And uh, we'll be updating you again on Monday evening, Monday, February 22nd. But uh, again, Northwest California, East Central California, looks for uh, looks like a, a big earthquake between a five and a six is likely and near Eureka or Mammoth Lakes. Also in Northern Italy and Bologna to Zagreb, Croatia and very high risk in uh, Southwest of Tokyo near uh, Osaka and Kyoto. So looking for significant earthquakes in those areas. And we'll give you another update tomorrow night and uh, Monday night and uh, we'll, we'll keep you updated and we'll inform you if anything happens during that time. Thank you so much. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. Luke Thomas here at quakeprediction.com and enjoying our new uh, office here. Thank you so much for uh, following us and we will talk to you tomorrow.